Hello and thank you for tuning in to segment 6 of Techmar's Snowmelt training webinar series. This segment is going to focus on some features that are particular to the Snowmelt Control 654. If you did watch the segment 5, you already went through some features that are particular to the sequence of operation of the 654. In this segment, segment 6, we're going to look at feature set 2, which are a set of features that relate to the performance of your snowmelt system. The outline for this segment is to begin with the tandem snow ice detection. Now that is a feature that we did mention when we looked at the applications because it was featured in application 2. We're going to go through in a little more detail in this block and in a lot more detail in the technical block which is our final block 8. We're also going to look at slab outdoor reset and slab protection as features for the 654. We'll look at exercising, alert output, and the new manual override for the snowmelt control 654. Tandem snow ice detection, as we talked about before, is when we have two automatic 090 or 094 snow ice sensors installed in a single zone. So if you look at the image, we have labeled it snow zone 1. And in that snow zone, we have two of the 090 or 094 sensors. Now reasons we might want to do this is if we have an extremely large zone. So often you'll see a very large driveway and it's difficult to represent the conditions of the entire slab from a single sensor. Now you have the option of installing two sensors in that zone. We also might want to use this feature if it's a critical snowmelt area and we want to have a backup sensor. So we can be sure if one of those sensors were to fail that we will still be able to melt the slab reliably. We'll still have the automatic start and stop functionality from the second snow ice sensor. Now the way it works is either one of those sensors can detect moisture to initiate a melt cycle but both of those sensors have to be dry to signal that melt cycle to end. You can see we have labeled snow zone one master and the master is the 654 control that would be operating the snow melting equipment. So that's going to your boiler or to your mixing device uh, to whatever it is that this 654 is controlling for the snow melt system. The member 654 doesn't operate any equipment. It is only connected to its snow ice sensor and then we're using the Tech Marnet communication to relay that information to the snow zone one master. So all of the other relays on the member 654 are not operational with the tandem snow ice detection. We'll talk about this some more when we get to the technical block, but I'll just draw your attention to the fact that the member zone will have an application mode 090. And what that means is it's only looking at the sensor 090 information. It's not operating anything else in the system. The other snow zone master will have an application mode of PWM, boil, mix, or electric. Now we haven't talked about the different application modes yet. We will do so when we get to the very last training segment, which will be number eight. And in training segment eight, we will go over the essential settings for all of our applications and go over how to program the 654 for different scenarios that you may have in mind. What I can tell you now is the application mode that you select will determine which of the 654s is the master and which one is the member. So here's another look at the tandem snow ice detection. We can see both of our 654s and this is an enlarged view of the 654s. When we're setting up these 654s, both of these controls would be programmed to be snow zone one. Because remember, they are both operating in that first snow zone. As soon as we select the application mode of 090, this 654 automatically becomes the member. And we can see that right in the view menu. It'll say snow zone member one. 
The other 654 can be programmed for an application mode of PWM, Boil, Mix, or Elect, depending on what that 654 is controlling. And when you select this application mode, it automatically becomes the master. And this again shows in the view menu, it will say Snow Zone Master 1. Now remember, we can connect up to 12 654s together. So we can have up to 12 snow melt zones when using the 654. Each of those zones can have tandem snow ice detection. So what that means is in a single snow melt system, we could have up to 24 of the snow ice sensors 090 or 094 and be doing tandem snow ice detection in each of our 12 zones if we have 12 zones. So a really great feature that the 654 allows us to take advantage of to have reliable snow detection in a large zone and to make sure we have that redundancy so that if it is a critical safety area, if a sensor should fail, we still have another sensor in operation. Slab Outdoor Reset is a feature that happens automatically as long as we are measuring the slab temperature. So Slab Outdoor Reset allows us to maintain a constant surface temperature by varying the temperature of the core. So we will vary the core temperature as a relation to outdoor temperature. Obviously, the colder the outdoor temperature gets, the higher our slab core temperature must be to maintain that stable surface temperature. At 20 degrees Fahrenheit, we have a slab core temperature of around 46 degrees Fahrenheit. If we decrease our outdoor temperature to zero degrees, our slab core temperature has to raise to 52 degrees to maintain a surface temperature of 35 degrees Fahrenheit. So slab outdoor reset is something that's automatically done by the 654. We do that to control the heat delivery to the slab and minimize losses. Another feature that we have in the 654 is slab protection. So we want to avoid sending high temperature water to a cold slab because what that creates are tensile stresses in the slab and tensile stresses result in cracking. So you can see here if I'm sending very hot water to the slab and it's encountering the cold temperatures of the slab, it's creating tensile stresses and you can see this cracking that happens as a result. To make sure that doesn't happen, the 654 features slab protection. Now this is a feature you can turn on or off. If you turn it on, then we're going to make sure that temperature differential is minimized so that there is no tensile stress on the slab. There is no thermal shock to the slab. So we avoid the risk of cracking. If your 654 is operating a hydronic snow melt system, then we will automatically operate the mixing device and the system pump every three days to prevent any type of seizure. So automatically every three days, your system pump and your mixing device, it could be a pump or a valve, is going to be operated to prevent seizure. We can also use the auxiliary relay to provide an alert. So if we hook up that auxiliary relay to a third party alert device, we can make sure that we are notified whenever there is a local error. So you can see here, I have my auxiliary relay, which don't forget is attached to that R, so it's powered. My auxiliary relay is going to the third party alert device we're coming back to the common. And this third party device could operate to send an email alert to notify me whenever there's a local error in my snowmelt system. Those of you who are familiar with the Boiler Control 284 are familiar to some degree with manual override. Now manual override is something that we have included in the Snowmelt Control 654 as well so that you can test and troubleshoot the Snowmelt Control.
so many times we get calls at the start of the season and people want to make sure the snowmelt system is working. And we kind of in the past have had to fool the system into thinking it was cold enough to operate. Well, now we can use manual override and operate equipment as we need to. So there are six manual override modes. We have the auto mode and that just operates the system as normal. We have a purge mode for hydronic systems to um, purge the system of air. We have the max mode for hydronic systems as well. And what the max mode does is operate the boiler supply or the mix supply, depending on what your system is, to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. We have the test mode, which would be for electric system, and that operates the electric equipment for 10 minutes. The hand mode will allow you to operate individual pieces of equipment separately. And then we can use the manual override of off to turn our snowmelt system off without actually cutting the power. So these manual override modes are a real benefit to the new snowmelt control 654 so that we can do the testing that we need to uh, without having to trick the system, so to speak. In summary, in this feature block, we talked about slab outdoor reset and slab protection. We looked at the tandem snow ice detection. We talked about exercising and using the auxiliary relay for an alert output. And we, of course, we talked about the new manual override menu and how it can be used to test our system as needed. Now there is one more feature set block left to cover, and that feature set will talk about the TechMarnet communication features. So stay tuned for that, and we'll talk to you again soon.